Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem 3 27. So, in this problem, it is given that when the two forces are placed on the beam, the diameter of A36 steel rod BC decreases from 40 mm to 39.99 mm. Determine the magnitude of each force P. So, from this figure, you can see this is a beam and the P load is applied. The one end of the beam is attached with this rod BC. The dimensions are given and it is given that this rod is A36 steel clear uh, and due to this loading p the diameter of this rod decreases from 40 to 39 millimeter so you have to find the magnitude of p so we have to find this p again for finding this p we will first draw the free wire diagram of this figure clear and let me draw it first let this is the beam Here, this is the beam and when you remove this uh, support pin support A this is point A so there will be horizontal force clear either in this direction or in the in other dire direction that depends on you and the one other force is AY at this point let this force is P and in other at this point there is a force P that is acting on it. At this end BC there is a force uh, of that is developed in rod and this force is FBC. Clear? All the dimensions are given from this point till this point application of point P this is 1, milli, one meter again this distance is 1 meter and the remaining this distance is also 1 meter. So this is the free bar diagram. So if you look at this, uh, what we let this is the angle theta. So this theta will be equal to, uh, if I take tangent of theta, so tangent of theta is equal to 1 divided by 0 0.75 because this is perpendicular and this is base clear and from this we can get theta is equal to tangent inverse this 1 over 0 0.75 and we after calculating we find this angle is 53.13 degree okay now let's move toward our uh, free body diagram so this is a free body diagram and we will apply the moment condition uh, our equilibrium condition which is sum of all moment about point A is equal to 0 taking the counterclockwise as positive. Some student will ask that, that why we take the moment about point A because uh, this AX and AY is passing through point A so their effect will be 0 and we can find out this unknown forces. So when you apply the moment about point A is the sum of all moment about point A is equal to 0. So one force is P which is producing moment in clockwise direction. So it will be minus P and perpendicular distance is 1. Similarly, the second uh, uh, force that is also P and it is producing moment and perpendicular distance will be now 2. Clear? And the third force which is producing moment is the vertical component of this so it's one component will be it this and the other component will be this since horizontal component is passing through point a so it will not produce any movement fbc x is not producing movement while fbc y is producing movement about point a and that is counterclockwise so fbc y into perpendicular distance is Three. their sum must be equal to 0 ok so FBCY will be actually if, if this is theta clear so sine of theta will be equal to FBCY divided by FBC so FBCY will be equal to FBC 
sine of theta and sine of theta sine is 53.13 degree. So I will put FBCY, I, I will put the value of BCY which is this one. Clear? So minus P minus 2P plus FBC sine of 53.13 degree into 3 is equal to 0. So when you calculate this you will get 3 FBC into sine of 53.13 degree is equal to 3P and from here you can get FBC is equal to 1.25P. Okay, so this is FBC. Now we will move toward uh, finding our further uh, findings. That is, uh, we are actually going to find out this force P. Okay, so as we know that stress is equal to force per unit area. Again, we do not have this stress. We have this P here. And we will move toward uh, strains, normal strains. So, normal stress and strain. We have been given that diameter is re reducing from 40 to 39 millimeter. So, here we will use lateral strain. And we know that lateral strain is equal to Final diameter minus original diameter divided by original diameter. So you have final diameter which is 39.99 mm and original diameter is 40 divided by 40. So it will give you minus 0 0.25 into 10 raised to power minus 3 millimeter per millimeter. So this is lateral strain. Now we know that Poisson ratio is the ratio of lateral strain to the normal strain. Clear? And uh, this lateral strain is this one. We do not have uh, Poisson ratio and normal strain. So for Poisson ratio, we again we will go to the end of the book. And in material properties in SI units, you can see this is A36 steel structure steel. So its Poisson ratio is given A over here is 0 0.32. So we will pick that value. So from here we are we now will find normal strain that is equal to minus lateral strain over Poisson. So you have now these two values Poisson was from table it was 0 0.32 clear so minus 0 0.25 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 0 0.32 so we will get this normal strain as 0 0.78 0 0.78125 into 10 raised to power minus 3 millimeter per millimeter okay now we have this strain we can apply hook law in order to find the normal stress so we know that stress is equal to e into epsilon again uh, this epsilon is this one clear E will be taken from the properties so E will be equal to 200 into 10 to the power 9 Pascal you can see this is the value of E so you can put it 200 mega Pascal so 200 into 10 to the power 9 multiply by this strain 0 0.7812 into 10 to the power minus 3 so from here you will get the normal stress which is 156.25 
mega Pascal. Now this stress will be in B C. Why? Because up till now we have find out the uh, strain in this rod B C because lateral strain was given clear. So this stress is B D. Now this sigma B D if we see that this sigma B D will be less than sigma yield. How we will know again sigma yield from here you can see it is 250 mega Pascal. Clear? So this sigma B D is less than sigma yield. So it means that we can apply hook law or we can say the assumption was correct. The assumption was correct. What was the assumption? Assumption that reduction in diameter is correct and it is in elastic region. So this uh, we have this sigma BD. Now sigma BD is equal to force BC over area BC. So force BC can be find out Sigma BD is 156.25 into 10 to the power 6 pas Pascal is equal to FBC is 1.25 P 0.25 P and area or diameter which was pi by 4 original diameter which is 0 0.04 because it was 40 millimeters so 40 millimeter is equal to 0 0.04 meter and d square now when you solve this you will get the value of p which is equal to 157 into 10 to power 3 newton or we can say that p is equal to 157 kilo newton so this is the load p that can be applied on this beam that will cause the steel rod A36 to be decreased from 40 to 39 millimeter. I hope you have learned from this video and also enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.